Okay guys, so here is our lava and I'm going to show you how I'm going to take it up all six at once. So this is the filter here. And pour up like this. Gently take it up. As you guys can see, all the lava is here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take it. Just take something and then make a hole on from the top. You can use your finger or you can use something like pen or anything. Okay, make a hole. Like this. Okay, now gently take one of the lava. Here's the lava. And make sure the heat goes into the hole first. Then it will slowly dig inside. Okay. I'm gonna show you another second time. Dig a hole with your finger or the tools that you can find. Not too deep. Okay. Grab a lava. You can grab it like this, actually. Like this. Now you see how it dig. Oh look, here's the poo where it does not digest properly because it's scared, you frighten it and when it poo like this uh, during the L3 stage or L2 stage it's not that good because it requires time to digest back all those vitamins they might lose their weight but now it's L1 so it's okay Okay guys, this one is the uh, uh, Messi Norina uh, Ugandensis, Tokota Ugandensis, Lava L3, it's an L3, Flower Horn Beetle. So what I'm going to do now is I change the L3 container. It's not that I change, but I have to change the soil, not the container, sorry. Here. And flower beetle is very quick, very fast, and very agile. So you have to do things very fast because they might accidentally bite themselves. Their, their mandibles is so strong, you have to do everything very fast. Hold it up, put it down. So you can see all this is their poo poo. Right now I'm filtering. You can filter if you want. Or you can just change everything. Actually I'm filtering to use this as a fertilizer for my plant. It'll be good for orchid, for any flower. See how fast it can filter. Look at all this coffee bean. See? All the coffee bean here. Great.
Okay, usually I save all my coffee bean. And I got another one here. Okay, I'm going to show you how I take separate them again very fast. See. Do not touch try to touch any part of here. They will bite very fast. Because this is a very sensitive part right here, the tummy part. Okay. All right, I'm going to filter again. See how fast they eat. This is only a month or less see one of them is already inside never mind and we'll find them later the coffee bean and here I save coffee bean again. okay here we already prepare the same like only just a little bit air on top okay real quick okay this one you're gonna use your finger seriously they are too huge. Or you can use a market pen. Market pen. Alright. Okay, see, they are very fast. Okay, go with speed. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one here. And I'm gonna grab another one right here. I'm gonna make a hole first like this be careful when the mandible pinch you it's very very pain it's no joke you have to find where is the head the head is right here so I'm gonna go for the back here so I'm gonna do the same thing again head down Okay, see this one? As you can see just now, all the Mars, baby Mars, they already dig down. Some is still on their way, some is still halfway. And all already dig down. Okay. It's okay if when they when during they did down and you still can see the hole, they can cover actually. They know how to cover, they know how to do their job, so just leave them be. And remember, each time you change their soil, mark up the date. You can mark up on a paper, you can mark up on the container.
mark up the container, the date, when you change it so you will know when you're gonna change when you're gonna check your lava is it there is still food there do not check like every week once it's not really that good because Because the more you disturb them, the more they frighten, the more their digest will be bad. As you see, they will drop their weight when you frighten them. Then their lack of nutrition, they will become short horn or maybe fail occupation. Okay, so thanks guys for watching this video and one more thing I forgot to say that is remember to wash your hands. <laughs> Sorry for saying this after finishing recording this video. Remember to wash your hands is very important because you don't, you don't know what your hand had touched before you prepare all those things. It's bad because just in case if your hand are infected with black spot disease, it will infect other beetle, other lava as well. Actually, black spot disease is not just infect on lava, but it also in, will infect on other reptile species like gecko or maybe like uh, a snake. Yeah, so you want to wash your hand before you prepare any soil, any substrate. So this is the Palawanicus. And this is the Cheritonus. Ah, it's trying to fly. Here we go. Usually, beetle will want to fly, fly because of the fan. If you open, if you turn them on, they feel wind, they will try to fly because wind usually support their hind wings to fly. Goodbye, Palawan. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Thanks again, guys. Remember to wash your hand before you touch any lava. You don't want your lava to infect with black spot disease. Thank you.